Okay, here, just one second, I'll zoom out, so... Okay, welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Let's will start our session. Uh, my name is Anjum Sata. I'm working with UK University last 10 years now, approximate, and I'm also teaching at the University of Bedford. I'll try my best, you know, to meet your expectation. If you have any question, please feel free to drop me an email, anjum at ukiversity.co.uk. I'll try my best, you know, get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, so that's you know all the short introduction from my end so please if you don't mind to just introduce yourself so we know each other and then we will start our session yes please um so um sandra i've been studying with you guys for the past probably like six months this is my final module um hopefully i'll get this uh done and dusted soon um i work as an accountant and i'm just um I need to finish uh, IFA study so I can then be promoted. Um, and that's it really, yeah. <laughs> so pretty much simple story about myself. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, please. Who's next, please? Uh, yes, please. Can we introduce ourselves, Hussein? Can you hear me as well? Yes, I can hear you, Anjum. Uh... I guess, please, if you introduce yourself, so everyone knows. Huh? Hussein. Uh, yes, where are you from? What are you doing? What you done, please, if you don't mind, to keeping in no, your... No problem. So my name is uh, Hussein, and... Uh... I actually did accounting and finance uh, in Bradford Uni and currently working in a bank. But my plan is just to be an accountant. So I'm just doing my qualification. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. So you did your bachelor degree from University of Bradford? Yeah. Oh, maybe we know each other then. Huh? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Small world. Huh? Okay, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, who else there? Yeah, I'm T. Oyalami. Um, I did a my, my in finance and accounting, University of Birmingham. And um, I also work with civil service, but I'm just looking forward to expand my knowledge. So. Great. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. So, brilliant. Thank you. I hope so. Weather will be nice in your, on your end. Huh? Here in Leeds, Manchester is nice today. It's sunny. Yeah. So, which is good, at least. You know. uh, okay. Thanks. We all work in accounts, so we know a lot of about taxation. And of course, you know, we'll try our best, you know, to go through the basic stuff. Uh, tax is only the module, which is the problem is every year the rate is carry on changing. Huh? Sometimes if you're not in fully in practice, it's very difficult to be all the area you carry on doing CPD update yourself. Of course, we do CPD, but still, you know, some areas we can carry on exploring, looking the rules, what is happening in the real world. Huh? So please... Uh, uh, but we can, so uh, we can contextualize our discussion, what is happening. So please, uh, when you do your assignment, because it's an assignment-based course, so we're not worried about the exam or things like KCC and all other rewarding bodies. So it's a matter of, you know, embedding the example, whichever year you will use as an example, fun and sec. So you can, no issues, uh, just a matter of, you know, meeting the learning outcome. That's the key, you know, for this aim of this unit really to achieve you know these learning outcome and uh, of course you know we'll work towards merit or distinction criteria always we can look around and we can solve those you know the question i'll give you old assignment later on when we'll do assignment discussion every lesson we'll go through one learning outcome one LO, and uh, ultimately you know in few lessons each lesson 
we'll cover one learning outcome so mm-hmm. everything available on moodle so please we can follow on moodle accordingly and other than that i'll carry on sharing with you some books and uh, if you want to set up accounts you can set up account free and if you want to explore more our uh, is called open tuition which is set by the london school of business and finance other than that we'll carry on using is called kaplan resources and i'll give you a few books as well which is kaplan uh, resource bank and i'll share with you those links as well which is quite good to explore because you're all in practice and uh, especially is carry on looking you know the other than that is quite good website is called acca global so i'll share with you finance act which we look to in 2022 and 23 we can i can not in our couple questions please feel free if you have any question you can ask okay so let me share this Okay, so please, when we follow, we can look around different finance act and there's some here. Always is good to be starting with the threshold of the taxation, be a base base basic rate or base rate. Yes. So we all know what is the personal allowance at the moment. We know the national minimum wage going to be increased. those sort of you know all should be have all information personal allowance going 12570 which is further we can look around whichever year finance act you will follow and then we have some examples here of taxation how we can apply the rates look you know during our lessons as well and we'll go through all the basic stuff here so, so it's always good to be in your Uh, assignment is always good to be look around these uh, and you can pick the examples to go to achieve you know the our uh, learning outcome okay just for a second i'll share with you can you see all yes so this is our moodle page please will follow and we have most of the resources you can maybe some of resources you will find slightly old you know like in terms of the taxation that's really you need to uh, look around in terms of the tax purposes uh the slide okay taxation Here you can find. Okay, sure. I will share with the the link. And there are few authors' book as well. They carry on publishing every year. I'll try to locate them and I'll share with you. One of author is Dury. And thus there is. Okay, please, if you want to set up your account, which is absolutely free. Opentuition.com is quite good too. So if you go here, it's called, which is set by London School of Business and Finance. Back, quite good to use if you want to enhance your, because you know a lot of people can make even because of course it's your assignment based not. exam but if you want to look around under acca and you can uh set up your account and here is a taxation please you will see here tx tax so you can look around please there is a seam and then all other qualification free resources 
you can download the notebook you can download all the lectures and if you want to play some quizzes you can other than that i will share with you a few other kaplan and osborne links as well those will help us you know to clear the concept and those will go through okay so hope you can see and here on moodle so please if you don't have access we'll try to resolve issues sometimes can be and our admin office should you know help you those lines and we will go through and i'll let them know if you don't have any issues okay so please here is the module specification always good to first we look you know what we're supposed to do uh, of course you know always aim of this unit to be you know on the knowledge in the taxation uh, it's 20 credit uh, 60 guard learning hours we've been advised and understand advanced aspect of UK taxation system. And we have always, you know, the passing criteria, assessment criteria 1.1, 1.2, 1.34, 1 then merit and distinction criteria, which we'll go through. <clears throat> then we have a learning outcome two, which we'll go through in lesson two, learning outcome three, lesson three, learning outcome four, lesson four. Then we, we indicate content, what we're supposed to learn. Yes, the scope of income tax, income from employment, income from self-employment, understanding these, you know. So please, when we do these, always uh, each learning outcome, focus on the indicative content. Overall, our discussion will meet, you know, all the key points. And uh, because sometimes these points will be carry over under the learning outcome too, which will carry on using them under each, you know, learning outcome. So please, it's always good to follow them and we can do according. Okay, then next please, if we back to our slides, and those I'll share with you as well, and those available are, so few books in general, and articles and the links available on our Moodle page. Okay, let's please, we'll start UK taxation for business and individuals. The aim of this unit to develop understanding and always good to be any activity you start just look around you know what you know already about income corporation and overseas taxation in terms of scale one to ten you can carry on reflecting how much we know already about taxation and of course here are the some rates are there and which we can use them so will look is UK taxation systems professional ethical framework will be our tax avoidance versus tax avian which we're dealing with the HMRC how we can and uh, which will go through the structure type of tax direct indirect taxes HMRC and a few basic legislation okay so of course, we know the tax laws and the guidance. Basic, we all work in accounts, uh, and we deal. You know, maybe you know more than you know. I mean, because if you're in practice, you know more. Because I'm teaching and do side practice a bit. So detailed regulation, secretary requirement, HMRC guidance, which we can follow. HMRC, uh, gov.uk, uh, interpret the tax laws which we have various sort of qualification where we can look around specific tax AI T qualification, which is association and taxation here, qualification ATT, which we can separate from, which we can explore more. The method of operating a business. Uh, when we do business, always we need to be look around what sort of business you are, sole trader, <clears throat> partnership and companies. So we have a different, you know, the pay income tax on trading profit, pay capital gain tax on the gain of the business asset and pay class two and class four NI national insurance. Company, they pay the corporation tax, uh, pay the corporation tax on the gains on the business asset and pay national insurance not on, in we, because this is just the slide we picked, you know, so it is, which we'll explore to some extent. 
Okay, so this is the example. We know the year start. So please, whenever we we need to be make sure allocate you know accordingly our income, whichever year your profit falls. Uh, uh, of course, losses and all you know which we go through employment income, bank interest. So always we need to be because the tax can be deducted at source. We need to put it back to at gross, and we need to calculate then what you paid, what left you know which we can calculate and the property income and dividend. Income thus, you know, so which we can look around and all types of the income and together is called the total income, total income minus the trade losses. Yes, the losses can be carried forward, forward, you know, which we can uh, up to uh, good, you know, five years, the current year as well, which we can look around the net income minus the personal allowance is the taxable income, which we can. Uh, always keep in mind the personal allowance every year is changing as we mentioned earlier because the slide is indicate different but always whichever years you want as example so please 12 570 is personal allowance for 2022 and three taxation then uh, we can look around the on the saving and other incomes taxable income then we can look around you know these basic rates so we need to be look around to rate back on which tax bracket your falls, uh, your basic rate and uh, which rate will apply. So please, that's which we can look around, which will go back and I'll, I'll show you in a minute how we can. Okay, tax evasions, which is illegal to deliberately mislead the tax authority to reduce the tax liabilities may result in the fine or imprisonment tax avoidance currently legal to make use of loopholes and the tax legislation to reduce that but it's immoral uh, which is we'll go through the five professional code of ethics to become any professional bodies member tax planning you know to ensure the use to make all the available tax relief in in a manner intent to minimize the tax liabilities tax planning is illegal like you know you can uh, the, uh, your income can be from different source or you can earn from because you want to be uh, that's you know you can spread it uh, or you can look around which here is uh, is what you know the new legislation we have you know we can plan things according okay so allowable are uh, these expenses are disallowable so please that's again you know we have uh, gift customer not costing more than 50 pounds per donor per year that's still uh, which we can look around the redundancy pay we can look around when you're making the redundant uh, on trading we are going to close our restructuring resizing downsizing all these words will carry on using least cost of cost c2 that's other you know which we need to look around those, you know, the level of uh, CO2 emission levels, you know, which will look in the question and the car question bank and disallowable, you know, these. Uh, okay, so allowable and disallowable, these expenditures, fines and penalties, normally, you know, not allowable. Then depreciation, depreciation is not allowable expense, you know, we can do the capital allowance, we can claim it. Uh, private expense, uh, capital expenditures. Capital expenditures we can, but revenue we can't. We know the capital expenditure, the expenditures which are high value, like you're spending on the asset, you're buying asset, you're building assets. So these are, we can, so we need to be look around under the capital and which asset pools, you know, the asset falls. Legal fees relating to capital item, general provisions and all, you know, this we can look around the allowable and so, 1.1 income and income tax liabilities relating overseas aspect. Okay, so please, whenever you're dealing with overseas uh, aspect of the taxation, always need to be look around the domicile. Yes, residency is the rule, you know, that's a quite crucial. You know, if you work abroad temporarily and you know, consider to the tax position in the UK and overseas, the country separately, if you work overseas, you're likely to be taxed in overseas country where you work, whether or not you know remain the taxable in the UK will depend your residency position. That's you know is your 180 days out of country. Yes, normally your residency break and it's mean you know your taxation 
like at the benefit point of view as well you can't claim it because you know you're not any more resident you are nationally even so we need to be looking on those laws as well and you can self assessment return in order to report your you know overseas income which we can uh, yes and we can look around relief as well after we are pay as you earn of course you know where you done the, your job date you know and those we can look around holidays and all and overseas expenditure okay example let's please we look you know in this case incorporating overseas although the director is based in the uk for their board meeting in the uk and the companies are incorporated overseas only treaty is being resident in the uk in the central management and control is exercised in the uk since the director is the uk based and holding their board me board meeting in the uk uh, uh, they would indicate the in this you know the manager and control from the uk therefore resident in the uk because at the moment a lot of the legislation think about you know working on under mortally or internet so that's you know the rules we can look around where we actually operate and meeting we have if the directors are you know based on overseas a lot of the legislations changed you know recently because the government to go during covid 19 people went abroad work around so they saying now we need to be look around the residency rules you can't be any even most of employers saying you can't really move around and you can't work remotely outside the country you can do within the country <clears throat> yes of course then maybe the question uh, where you are and because it's a remotely work broad in the meeting overseas the company would you know probably be treated as a resident overseas since you know the central management and control is exercised okay then we have this second examples we can during the years 31st march the various you know limited is the uk resident company and receive overseas income dividend uh, with the holding tax on with held you know and dividend at the rate of 15% if the limited on more 50% or less you know the voting right do we know what is meant by uh, subsidiary then so one is a parent company then subsidiary we have then we have a uh, associate so these you know always good to be sometimes we need to be look around within those so parent if you own it be, more than uh, 50% 49 plus person so that's your is subsidiary if you own the share and if you own it to 20 to 49% 49% shares of other company those known as associate yeah that's your associate company if you own it less than 20% that's known as Um, simple investment so just a matter of you know that's your investment simple investment you do on the company so these rules you know which we can look around and which we can any question please any from anyone uh no not for me thank you okay so capital allowance the uh, for sole trade only the companies not have a private asset use and contain the car see it omission levels which we can look around which uh, pool you uh, asset fall annual investment allowance that was is a bit change you know carry on which we can look around under whichever finance act you will follow so these are back here you know so which we can look around 500000 on annual investment allowance and the period you know which is we can look around those you know application dates uh, written down allowance 18% on the main pool asset 8% on the special pool asset so where your asset is fall in which pool each you know category we need to look around separately we'll do some numerical in the following let's we'll pick you know some example private use assets you know don't yes pool private use asset show all the value of the asset you know allowances to the column and that's you know which we can balancing adjustment arise uh, business may be closing down remaining after the deduction of the disposal of proceeds uh, and when not you know pool the asset is sold so short life asset are the private so we can claim our capital allowance short life asset and election can be made on the disposal of asset disposal asset must be disposed Uh, within eight years of the end of the uh, period of the acquisition and from the planning 
a point of view defooling you know is useful in balancing the allowance is expected and we can look around these you know in each category of assets okay uh, taxable and total profit a company taxable or total profit are arrived by aggregating the various source of income which we can look around total taxable income from different source if we look at example uh, interest always please you know uh, we need to look around what is the interest hmrc charge as well non filing or outstanding liabilities as well you know because if we uh, need to be always look around the base rate at the moment 5.25 and 5.5 went up and now we are expecting is down and property business income those we need to be look around within and we need to be deal with the corporation tax. Uh, we know accounting period of course you know the company can start the business their financial years and the accounting period can be different and we need to divide it uh, and uh, for the tax purposes which we can and long period account if the period is uh, more than 12 months we need to be as well we need to be fair and divide the profit between the accounting period total trading income commute the capital allowance interest income property income gains and qualifying you know charitable income that's you know which we can look around the rate corporation which we can uh it's was 20 is reduced to 19 percent so that can be further you know the planning which we can uh continuous business yes until die as we can and the period you know when the business start in, in opening years and closing we need to be appropriate you know allocations of things and sometime in the construction contract we have uh, issues like you know if you have a contract five years maybe you made it you collect the money advance it's not your income yet income need to be earned service need to be provided then we can say it's your sale you have to pay on tax maybe you're receiving the income early but it's not your income is an earned income you learn about the prepaid and accrue the incomes in your other you know the financial statements in adjustments so assessment and the focus and the finally is overlap profit which we can deduct here you know, finally which we can okay these are few examples the previous years we can look around the income we can pool them and then we can divide it in the tax purpose which we can look around few examples these tax overlap profit greater than less than 12 months and we can national insurance of course you know the class has been changed to 13 percent then is dropping a bit now so we need to be look around accurate and we need to follow accordingly so carry forward trading losses yes trading losses can be carried forward yes those which we need to be the relief we can claim deduction from the income it's mean you're reducing the tax liability you have to look around if you don't have you know uh, this year previous year loss this year you don't have a profit so you can loss you can carry forward so always try to be the first you know the loss is the most you know old um uh, the not latest one you try the oldest one first you know and then you can claim those and then of course you know you can carry forward because you can carry forward up to certain period of time you know that's five years which we can look around relief and the claim and the company can choose the claim the relief and which we can look around the tax planning and i am to uh, relief you know losses again the profit suffering the higher tax rate maybe we can due to the we can adjust the losses and we can you know which is legal to do so uh, capital losses is set against the current or the future gain uh, never income uh, and can cannot be carried back okay so we can use the proforma and uh, those performance which will go through and will calculate you know some these taxations with some question of course nowadays is life is more electronic so we do all these you know tax saving we just offset the total profit prior and now of course in the rates which we can qualifying yeah that the best is no profit in the offset which we need to be make sure uh, property losses that we can look around and set off you know gains and capital losses automatically we set again the current year gain and excess losses can be carried forward again the first year available gain uh, yes chargeable disposable or chargeable person is they include the sales and the gift 
uh, you know, which we can look at on the chargeable person, the companies are individual, can be those are liable, pay the taxes, those fall in the categories, those have a domain cell. And the chargeable uh, asset is the most of asset is a chargeable exempt asset, include the cars and some chattels, uh, race horses, and those can be exempt from the taxes. Uh, the basic limitations of uh, which we can look around the individuals which we can look around how much proceed how much cost you have you know competition which we can look around we have separate formulas for it which we look you know under each question each category you look separately then you make sure you apply the rates accordingly exempt amount when you're know, competing the individual taxable gain Yes, so that can be because maximum allowance, which is now 12,570, which we can, and under different years, so we have to follow the rate for the year. Uh, losses of individuals, yes, uh, which we can look around any loss, yeah, deduct the capital losses from the chargeable gain first, you know, then you can, because, you know, you have to offset, you know, those losses. Okay, competition, uh, proceed. Uh, less you know the cost and then in, in because you know the shares that's that sometimes is the issue because you bought different and different categories so we have to do indexations and allocations of uh, you know the prices and the shares and the values accordingly and we need to pay the taxes accordingly okay so indexation ex expenditure multiple indexation factors run from the date of acquisition date of uh, disposal and run you know from the date of incur the date of disposal enhance expenditures and does not apply to the disposal so we can look around these which will go to some part of question sometimes you know the building of the asset you partly disposed of and you bought it in so you how much you bought it how much is costed what was the total value and you have to find it chargeable can how much you have you know which we can look around i'll give you the booklet for this. okay chattels of course chattel is an item of tangible what is a tangible anything which you have a physical substance you can touch it you can uh, yeah that's you know is tangible it's losses and chattel sold can be destructed assuming gross proceeds six thousand uh, so we can look around maximum gain on the chattel sold more than six thousand the cost uh, where the cost was less than six thousand is five over three the gross proceed and the loss of chattel under five is restricted assuming the gross proceed to be six thousand that's the which we can make adjustment accordingly the connected person uh, the person who was connected and liable tax, you know, like uh, inherent tax, you know, which we will look these in uh, who the connected persons are, like spouse, civil partner, son, doctor. Uh, disposal between the spouse and the civil partner don't give the rise of the gain of the loss. Say the spouse will acquire the asset, so it deems to be buy for the proceed, resulting either the gain of the loss we have. Deem proceed, let the cost. And either can loss we need to look around those and we need to charge the tax. So in a higher end tax free, that's you know is new which we need to be look around three hundred and forty thousand pounds worth of the asset if they been uh, inherently so we have to pay more than that. And then seven year rules are those in the rules we need to be how many, how long, you know, that's which we can okay of the charge of the act if within the seven year period that other you know lifetime gifts which we can look around and we can minus the definition any gift you know which is not exempt uh, main example of which we can look around transfer of any trust chargeable is at the date of the gift you know additionally inherent tax donor dies within the five years so the person asset inherit we need to pay the taxes lifetime you know the rate and the death rate and all this we can Look separately, donning who and is being paid or not. So, transfer value specific exemption, chargeable transfer tax, you know, for these we can do the performance to calculate and we can put the figures. For example, nil rate band is 312,000 that was back, you know, then chargeable lifetime, and then now it's went up to 3. 
thousand, three hundred and twenty-five thousand, and so on. And then we need to be looking on each unit. Know, so these are the rates, you know, apply the reduction over three years, but less than uh, four years, the twenty percent. Four years are less than five years, forty percent reduction uh, in tipper relief, which we can in eighty. So any lifetime tax paid uh, be the following within seven years free debt can be credited against the debt tax, you know, but it cannot be used to repay. So which we can look around these and the rates we can apply in adding tax, you know, which we look we'll pick in a few examples which we look in these to calculate and uh, lifetime gift only annual exemption three thousand per tax year carry forward one year only and use the current before brought forward the small gift you know 250 the total per donny marriage exemption 5000 per, per parents grandparents all these you know the rule which we can a lifetime gift you know and the debt stays that which we can freehold less the prepayment not in meant a mortgage you know the life insurance and policy those you know which we look in each you know in the separate section of it and you know these uh, the key things which we need to be donor maybe survive 70 years that typical relief you know which we can and that's i'm going to give you in a parent tax you know the uh, handouts in a minute so that's i'll share with you and those will use so just one i'll, I'll open it and I'll show you in which we use them and we can pick in some any question from anyone? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll share with you this one and I'll through our group as well. So that's you know slightly old, but is is of course you know we can apply to the new rates and that's the booklet. And if you you've been given all the rates within that few rates change. We can look around the finance act, whichever we can even use the old one for because it's the assignment, so it's not an issue. As long as we add the example to meet the criteria, if they highlight specific act, uh, the year of finance, and then so what is introduced the personal tax, yes, tax system, and all with those we discussed. So that's the key. yeah. So please, here you will see if you want to explore about inherent tax like here you can go under that section and we can look around some questions and we is all the calculations given and those which will go through by many incomes and all under each section that's for individual and exactly the same it will give to the company's one as well as called business tax so these you know two booklets which i'll share with you with the answers and the question so if you want to explore and you want to look around and plus, you know, the ACC, those examples, quite scenario-based examples, we can embed, you know, in our writing when we will we'll do assignment discussion. Okay, that's all was today, uh, LO1, learning outcome one, and in next lesson, we'll go through learning outcome two, and which will do four lessons to cover our learning outcome. Fifth lesson will be about our assignment discussion. Okay, that's all from my end. Anybody, any question? Uh, no, thank you so much. Thank you, and have a lovely weekend. And we'll speak. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.